Okay, so welcome back. Uh, just got home from work out in the garage here again. Uh, like I said, we're going to start working on this old uh, work on this old Pontiac. So I'll uh, get the camera rigged up here, and I'll get this truck moved back, and we'll get it up on the lift, and we'll take a we'll take a good uh, we'll take a good look at this car inside and out a little bit. I got a little bit of stuff to clean out from inside it, but uh, take a little look at it, and we'll uh, get to work on it. Okay, so what I did last time is I I lift the hoist up to the level of the car and then uh, and then back the truck under. Worked pretty good. And then I can just lift it off the truck. So I don't think I can get this truck so wide I can't get my arms up past after. <clears throat> so I'll get them up past now. I can swing them under, lift the car off, and then get that truck out of here. So that's what I'll go ahead and do. Just lift it up. Get some mirrors on the old girl, make it a little easier to move it around, but but I don't have any, so. Okay, well, I'll get this truck out of here, and uh, then I'll lower this down. We'll take a little look at it. Like I said, get it cleaned out there. So. Okay, I'll show you around the bottom of this car a little bit. It uh, said it's not terrible shape. It's got a couple, you know, a couple little issues here and there. The floor, not terrible. I don't know why there's a hole there. That's kind of weird, but we'll address that. Um, the usual, I think, the usual little spots, like a little bit of material there missing. Yeah, not too bad, not too bad. A little bit up in this corner. And the same over here. Looks like there was some sort of a bit of a patch there. But all in all, really quite, quite solid. To be an okay car to kind of work with you can see there was some repairs here and stuff some issues we'll clean that up just a little bit it's just uh I said it's just going to be an old cruiser a nice uh hopefully nice reliable cruiser that looks kind of tough so not really hung up on making everything beautiful just make it uh, look good and make it uh functional and so on so uh, we'll get this down and we'll start cleaning it out. So back in the day, this was probably a large luxury car um, at, at the time. But it's funny when you look at it, it's, it's actually really quite tiny. Like you're probably, you know, dang near, dang near rubbing shoulders inside of it. So, but uh, anyways, I'll show you. They, they don't... Uh, I don't know. I, I like the style of old vehicles. You'll see. I'll show you a little bit there. It. Uh, I think they had real class and style back in the day. So we're gonna get it opened up, and we'll uh, we'll start uh, cleaning it out, and then see what we got to do to to start working on it. So. So the fellows whose cars this was uh, was good enough to keep about everything uh, parts wise kept everything I think pretty much I got the fenders hood and that kind of stuff out in the shed there so which will make it real nice because then we'll have we probably won't use a lot of it but 
to have it if we need it. And I think like definitely the interior trim and uh, well, all the trim and stuff I, I kind of want to use. So anyways, it's good that he, uh, good that he kept it all. So hopefully that works out in our favor. Okay. So we'll take a quick look. So like I said, I think it's my personal opinion anyways, little things like <clears throat> the steering wheel and the, you know, little things like the, the heater here and stuff, just super classy in my opinion. I, I like the looks of that stuff. I'll show you a little bit of the interior here. There we go. Like I said, just, I think really classy, real nice. We're going to try and clean this stuff up, salvage it. Um, there's your suicide doors for the back. Um, you know, your interior light and stuff like that. So that's what we're going to try to do. We're going to try to salvage a lot of this really cool stuff, but, uh, but it is going to be a hot rod. So keep on uh, trucking. All right. So all I'm going to do now is I'm just spend a little time cleaning up. Um, I started scraping the, uh, the old insulation off the doors and stuff. So I'm going to spend a little time just cleaning it up the interior. Uh, so I got a little something nice and clean kind of to work with. So that's all I'll be doing now. So I probably won't uh, film too much, but I'll go ahead and start just uh, cleaning up the interior and stuff. So, okay. So I got it pretty clean. I went ahead and, uh, because it's going to be 12 volt later and stuff. So I did, I did go ahead and pull a bunch of this, this uh, old wiring and stuff out. It's pretty ratty anyway. So yeah, I went ahead and pulled a bunch of that out. I got it all clean. I'll uh, go ahead and clean up my mess here and then I'll probably continue on start fixing some stuff. I just noticed some of these spots. So while I'm here, I'm just gonna go ahead and buff some of these up. May as well, while I'm at it. <clears throat> Okay, so I got that, I just got some of that stuff, that kind of that rough stuff cleaned up. Um, but, uh, and then yeah, I'm gonna strip it down. And then, uh, like I said, I, I, I do want to do minimal repairs. Um, plus I wanna avoid doing a bunch of body work if I can help it, because I wanna keep it uh, kind of that original old look, right? So um, anyways, yeah, so I got a little bit cleaning to do. I can't get in there. I'll have to get a die grinder or something just to clean those up a bit. Still getting some parts off, get the taillights out, um, clean, cleaned up a little more and stuff. Now I'm going to go under the dash because um, I've been taking the wiring out too out of the, out of the body. But uh, it's a real, real rat's nest back inside that dash. So I'm going to go up in there and I'm going to get all that cleaned out. I'll, uh, I'll get some stuff and I'll shoot, shoot up in there and see what I can get apart. got the guts out of the dash here. You can see them all here. Um, I'm not sure if I'm going to take this apart. I just wanted to get this because of all the, the uh, yucky wiring. So anyways, uh, I think I'm done in here. Okay, so I went ahead and got, like I said, all the stuff behind the dash all cleaned up. Um, I did go ahead and level the car out a little bit. It was it had a back lean to it, but I got it leveled out a bit. And I lowered it down. I'm thinking this is roughly going to be ride height. This is where I'm going to like it. It'll have uh, little running boards, of course. But uh, yeah, I think that's where I kind of want it. Maybe, maybe a hair higher, maybe just a little bit higher. But depending on how them running boards end up looking, they might give it that little bit lower look. So I might go ahead and... Uh, but anyways, I did level it out. I wanted to see how it looked. look. I think I'm going to go out in the shed and bring in the... Uh, bring in the front fenders and the hood, may maybe. I'm not sure, depends on how I can kind of set them on there. I'll see if I can kind of set them up and maybe we can take a quick look to see what, that, what it's gonna kind of look like. So um, I just kind of mocked it up just so you could kind of see what it's gonna look like. I think it, it's looking real gangster. I think it'll look real tough. I don't know. The front's gotta, I, I gotta decide once I bolt it all together where it's gonna kind of sit. This is all just roughly sat together, so. Um, but anyways, yeah, it'll uh, it'll decide the, the 
I want it low, as low as it can without, uh, without it hitting stuff and wrecking stuff, but um, I like it. I think it's going to look real gangster. It's got, this car has some, um, I suspect back in the day in 1940, it was probably super luxury. I'd imagine it was, they, they cared about the, you know, the appeal of it, right? Um, just lots like all this, you know, the Pontiac, it just everything was just classy and nice. The other thing too as well, I've noticed is the hood is plenty long, so I think I'm going to have no problem fitting an engine. It's just uh, what, you know, what kind of rad I can get and, and, and uh, you know, to keep it cool and stuff. But um, little things I'm finding that's real cool is the signal lights. This one wasn't mounted, so that's real cool. It just, with the vibe, so that's real nice. Um, other little things, this grill obviously is real nice as well. The hood, oh, this is, this is the... This is the hood latch. Once the core support and stuff, that, that's your hood latch. That's real tough. Um, a, a lot of this to bolt it on does need a fair amount of work. The fenders are a little beat up, which is no problem, but the back sides where they mount, a little bit rusted out and stuff. Um, but again, like I said, we'll keep plucking away at it, but that's kind of gonna give you an idea what it's gonna look like. Um, this door needs a little bit of work. I gotta fix this. This was obviously hit. Actually, what I think probably happened was this door got flipped around and probably, you know, this creased into it. So I mucked this hinge up a bit. Um, the top one, I'm not even sure, might be in a box or something, but I got to go in, inside, smack this out the best I can and fix up the hinge, get this door shut nice. Um, but yeah, it's looking real good too. It has this little, the other thing I found too is this little crank for the window. It's really cool also seems to work but anyways it's looking real good so yeah so th th so this car is going to take uh, a lot of work yet it's going to help the fact that i don't have to uh or i'm going to try not to um do a bunch of body work i'm mean, just going to make it look good make it look patina make it look tough but uh anyways still going to take a lot of still going to take a lot of work a lot of mucking around a lot of fitting but uh so Anyways, thanks for watching. Um, if you like the video, please like and subscribe. I'll have a bit of it on, uh, on uh, Instagram and TikTok and, and Facebook. So follow, follow along there too if you'd like. But uh, anyways, thanks again.